Welcome back to Open, everyone. You know, always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us at BronxNet TV. And while you're there, tweet me too at Reina Valentin. Our next guest is a Dominican born visual artist uh, hailing from the Bronx who dedicates his time to learn different art techniques through. Uh, and to master his work, that is, excuse me, and his recent work captures the essence of human condition and nature while at the same time exercising his right to break the conventional rules. And joining us to tell us more about his artwork, we welcome Andres Alvarez. Hello, Rena. Hello and welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for being here and thank you for the lovely work you're doing documenting uh, through your style, right? So, yeah. all right. So I made this whole grand introduction uh, with regards to technique. Now, right. visual arts is not uh, my background. However, uh, I, I would like you to enlighten us a little bit about what those rules are. Well, sure. There's no, there's not really any rules. I'm a self-taught artist, so... What that means to me is that I didn't have any set boundaries set by any institution of academia. So I allow myself to explore whichever way I want it without limiting myself. So in a way, I allow myself to be multidimensional. So if I wanted to experiment with pencil work, I just went that route. If I wanted to experiment with ink, I went that route. Like right now, I'm doing a lot of uh, oil paint, which is the one that's stuck, which I, you know, Definitely love, but I just keep exploring and pushing in a different direction to see where it goes, pretty much. At what age did you realize that this was your calling? I have always been that kid that could draw. I have always been, you know, to the support of my parents and family and friends, of course. But it wasn't up until about six years ago where I started really digging in and exploring and figuring it out. I started painting about, like, four years ago. But right, so that, you say exploring and really digging in. You're saying you've always drawn right yeah. you've always been drawing and so yes. you're self-taught yes and so you have certain techniques yeah. under your belt that you taught yourself and uh, about a couple of years ago you decided to fuse them and yeah. come up with your own style yes and so how challenging is it to sustain yourself doing art i don't 100 percent sustain myself doing art i'm working on that i'm a full-time teacher i'm a high school teacher so I'm really focusing on the pursuit of figuring out what it is that I should be doing as an artist or um, what it means to live as an artist. Because even though I have been able to do it my entire life, I really made it an actual part of my everyday life, like recently. Like I said, in the past six years, that's what I meant. When I said I started like, developing myself as an artist, like I have the ability, but I have, been pu have I been pushing myself enough? That's what I've been doing so far, doing, you know, doing that to the exploration, figuring out what it is that, you know, that I can do or should do. Which is a great segue into who are your inspirations? Like, where do you pull from? I have always been inspired by illustrators, mostly classical painters, like Rembrandt, illustrator being Frank Fraceta, comic artists, uh, Simon Beasley, uh, contemporary artists would be Cesar Santos, a Cuban artist. He does a lot of classical style work. Uh, Casey Childs, there's a lot of names that can pop in, can, the list goes on and on, but it's a very eclectic group, a very diverse group that they all kind of contribute somehow to the work that I do, one way or the other. And so we're going to be looking at some of your work now, okay. and I noticed that you uh, capture uh, a lot of celebrities. And so um, this one that we're looking at right now. That is actually, it's not a celebrity. Uh, there's a backstory to that painter that she I... She looks like a celebrity. She looks she's like... She's not. Um, what is her name? The, the one who played uh, What's Love Got to Do With It? What is that actress's name? I'll figure it out later, but she does look like it. But who is this? Well, the character behind that painting has to unfortunately remain in the shadows because it's just part of a bigger project that I'm working on in conjunction with somebody else. So she's part of a bigger story that I'm working with. Uh, her name is uh, Marilis, that's the name of the character, which is part of a, of a story that's been developed. So she has to stay in the shadows a little bit, but she's not anybody that anybody will know, you know, uh, famous. So she, well, she resembles Angela Bassett. That's, Angela that, Bassett, That's, who, yeah. that's yes, the name I yes, was looking yes, for. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. She, wow, that's awesome. And, and we're looking at, mm -hmm. and, and um, okay, we're going to go to the next one, and hmm, I wonder who that is. Mm. <laughs> Right, so obviously Cardi B. Uh, yeah, so every once in a while, you know, you through the media, whatever, there's some personalities that stick because of the, of the way they are, because of, you know, the energy that they carry around. And she was definitely one of those people. And I was like, why not? You know, let me not take 
art so serious and let me use number one that painting is you just 36 by 48 inches it's one of my biggest paintings it's, it's beautiful and I, it took a lot of time i just that tired of me you know having making a silly face you know just have fun with it right you know? and so i noticed you use a lot of red um in your artwork uh as your background like yeah. what, what does what does that symbolize for you energy, it's energy. Like, I, I like high yellows blues reds anything that that represents that energy that I put into the painting itself. I want to like see through the paint itself. And we're looking at another woman. I notice you also capture a lot of women. Yes. Yes, of course. But claro, right here. It's very challenging to portray, you know, that you know, that essence of a woman accurately on a painting. It's very challenging, at least for myself. So that's usually, you know, what I give to that's my daughter, Adriana, also an artist. Beautiful. She's uh thirteen years old. Uh huh. That's a very recent painting of her. Yeah. And uh, that's you. That's me in my studio. Uh, an artist said, I, long, I forgot the name of the artist, but he said that when, you're not, when you run out of things to paint, just paint, paint yourself and something will come up. So I would do that every once in a while, just you know, paint myself in my studio, but I also use it as a kind of a snapshot. Every once in a while I would hit some type of mental benchmark in my, in my artistic pursuit. And, and I want to take a snapshot of that guy at that moment and because that guy figures something out, let me just portray it, you know, you know, I guess for future reference. So I will do that every once in a while. And so I, I understand you do self-portraits, right? Yeah. And so do you do self-portraits from actual images or do you also do self-portraits from uh, having people pose? But that would be portrait. I don't do many. Oh, I'm open for commissions. I don't do them very often. I usually bring somebody in, do a photo shoot, and then on my own, I, you know, I do my, my own work, which is how I approach my work mostly. Mostly because of time constraints. It, right, I was going to ask, how yeah. long does it take you to, to create one of those self-portraits? Those are, that's what we're talking about, a couple of months' work, you know, factoring in, you know, uh, office hours that you have to be at work during the day and then deal with it, you know, after hours. So we're talking about a couple of months. Plus, it's oil paint, so it's a longer process by default. No matter how fast I want to push it, there's a process that I have to follow. So it's a couple of months we're talking about. And what is the process behind oil paint? Is it because it's in layers? It's very layered, and you cannot push it even if you wanted to because the, the paint itself, the medium, very slow drying. And if you, let's say, there's something called wet on wet where you don't wait for the uh, paint to uh, dry before you apply the next layer. When you do that, one layer is blending into the other, so you have two colors blending into the other. When you're do, dealing with skin colors, you have to be very careful with that because if it, this, the paint is very sensible to whatever you're applying on top of it. So mm -hmm. I have to literally get it started, have a nice sketch, and just let it sit for a couple of days before I get back into it. So where and when can we see all of your work on display? That I've just recently decided to pursue a solo show. So I'm, I'm just going to use this platform to put the word out and everybody who's interested in displaying my work. But it's something that took me a while to tell myself, okay, you're ready to do this. You're ready to, you know, show this, put it out, you know, in the world. I have been part of a couple of shows in the past, a few years ago, but it doesn't really represent it, what I, you know, how I feel right now about my work. So this is like a new stage. For so me. if somebody wanted to contact you to put you on display, where would they do so? They could go to my website, andresalvarezart.com. They can find all my information there. My Instagram, Andres Alvarez Art. You can just reach me through DMs. Talk to me. Yeah, talk to him. Talk That's to right. him. And his artwork is for sale. Yes, it is. All yes, of it. right. All and you also it. do prints. I, I've been straying away from prints because I, it's been difficult for me to duplicate what I see on the canvas on, on digital uh, reproduction. So I've been very careful about that because I don't want to sell anything that's undervalued from the original artwork. So I wanted to be as close to as close possible to the original to be. So I'm working on that, but I'm focusing on originals right now. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Integrity within your own work. I'm trying to. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for being thank, here. Thank Andres. you for having me. Absolutely. And yeah. for you guys, uh, for more on uh, Andres Alvarez, you can visit his website by going to andresalvarezart.com.